Hello. <clears throat> okay, sorry, give me a sec. Oh shit, y'all popped in here fast. <clears throat> All right. Give me one second here. Are you just sitting on the channel? Damn. I think I should turn my mic up because I don't have the energy to talk loud today. But oh, it's it's I mean it's pretty loud. Oh shit! Wait, were you talking shit? Let me see. The pre-stream hype. LOL. What is yada? Yeah, no face cam. I not my day. Ah, okay, okay. Is the stream lagging? Or is it dropping? Or anything like that? OnlyFans? You know, maybe that would be the career move. Alright, okay, hold on, I need a grass thing real quick. No, sorry, I had the mic mic, mic muted. Um, what are the haze for? I'm not a horse. Okay, sorry, bad one. Oh wait, I'm not okay. I don't know why it would be lagging, to be honest. Um, I'm on Ethernet, so I don't know. Maybe the uh, connection is saturated. I don't know. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Well, the lagging and crashing are are not related. Um. So. I don't know, hopefully it's okay now. All right, all right, uh, okay. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> the indefinite lag caused by good old, good old gnome. What about Valorant? <clears throat> oh, you got the drop. Congrats. Have you been playing? Uh, 
but it's just laggy. Oh wait, I want synapses here. <clears throat> oh, lol. Nice. Ah, oh, okay. Holy shit, this shit is fucking slow. What is going on? No. Uh. Alright, you got to see all my tabs. Oops. Oh, the classic, of course. Alright. Dude, why is Firefox taking 200, it's taking like three CPUs? What is it doing? What is she doing? All right, whatever. Uh, we're just going to go with this. The frame rate is probably high enough that you can see what's going on. I realized last, um, I realized last stream that when, even when I had the face cam, the frame rate was still low. Uh, so I'm not sure what was up with that. Like the frame rate for the face cam should have definitely been fine, but. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, people be like that. I don't know. I, honestly, the teams that I've had have been pretty good. But yeah. I don't know. See, like. <laughs> yeah like it's the first day you have the game like of course fucking like i was literally playing on the day i came out this is actually this is kind of the opposite i was playing on the day it came out and i was like i like fuck something up i was like oh fuck i'm bad and some guy was like you seem pretty upset for being bad at a game that literally came out today <laughs> i was like oh that's true okay um user authentication So it seems like this page is making it sound like they use OAuth, but like this is under the, this is assuming that maybe there, has there been prior research on this? Is it matrix or synapse or what? Okay, it's matrix. Authentication with OCF. Okay, you love to see it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it is hard. I think the characters are easier than learning in Overwatch. Like in Overwatch, the characters differ a lot more drastically. So like, just learning the base mechanics is still definitely the most important thing in Valorant at least, but uh, I think that's a typo, deposit. Wait, what? I'm confused. I think you're joking, but maybe those are actual terms that refer to things that I don't know <laughs> what they are. <laughs> See sidebar. Oh no. Oh, this is... Thank you. Good catch. <laughs> this is the wrong synapse, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> what even is this? Oh no. Alright, time to deploy bank see this is this is this is the platform we can use for OCF coin. Easy. <laughs> Uh Um okay so oh, I need to start drinking this coffee. Okay, this looks better. One of these one of these three links hopefully maybe. I don't want to use LDAP cuz that's just terrible. Um, 
This this is literally API reference. Okay. Okay, so uh your changes should be on IRC and Federation. Oh, is that a branch name? Okay. Okay. This is too complicated. <laughs> what? You can authenticate. I guess this is useful if you like want to like authenticate with like a Windows accounts or something. Oh, good night, PHP. Um, oh, wait, you're talking to me because I said about co the uh, uh, coffee. Hope that AM ASMR didn't get too noise gated. <clears throat> okay, this is not a very useful page. Let me look at this. This is a little sketchy. It's just like some random person. Oh, you love to see it. Um, okay. This project is no longer maintained. It doesn't provide any alternatives. Beautiful. Okay, well, that's uh, definitely unfortunate. Synapse. Oh. Uh, as an OAuth. No, no, no. I want the other way around. Oh, I want OIDC, not OAuth. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, you can tell in my voice that I'm like, I, you know, was in bed from like 4 a.m. to 4 p.m. or something. So, yeah. They support CAS? Oh shit, wait, we should just link this up to fucking... <laughs> link this up to CalNet! <laughs> wait, oh, wait, we don't need... We don't need these OCM accounts, you just log in with your CalNet ID. Easy. Oh, that's funny. Um... Okay, so this doesn't seem to exist. I think Keycloak supports SAML, so it sounds like they support SAML too, so maybe we can do that. Let me just search this, Keycloak. <laughs> Getting called out right now, damn. Wait, there's one, oh, okay. Okay. What? Wait, you can do CAS through You can do CAS like Keycloak can do CAS? That's crazy. Uh what is this? Okay, this doesn't seem good or relevant. This is kind of oh this isn't that old, okay. So I think maybe we just want to use SAML. I would rather, I would much rather use that than some other thing like this, um, because these are just like random people writing some code, and uh, I mean it's probably okay, but okay, let's just see this matrix.
Well, see, the sad part is I was awake at 9 a.m. And I just stayed in bed until like 2 p.m. and then fell asleep for a two-hour nap. And then after that, got up. So it's it's very much uh, not good. <laughs> you, you love to see it. What the fuck? Okay. Wait, I don't want to test it. I just want to use it. How is this not a... Dude, how is there not documentation on this? What the fuck? Is this just like all... Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is it just all in the giant config file that's just like a fuck ton of YAML? Also, did we get rid of the secrets in here? No, we didn't. Okay. I mean, we're still testing right now. I guess we'll have to figure out what to do with this. Although, this is it's kind of annoying. It's really frustrating that they just have these in this file with no way to like template it out or anything because, ugh. Well, anyway. Yeah, 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 we definitely do. Um, wait, what do you mean same with, oh, is there uh, secrets in that branch as well? Um, okay, I guess this is what we want. Oh, let me make this a little bigger. <clears throat> I see, I see, okay. Um, is this big enough? I don't know. Wait, what? Oh, this is for the um, OpenID server instead of, uh, okay. Yeah, that's no, fine. I don't know. Hmm. Just reset my gate lower. I'm gonna talk this quiet, but this is fine. Okay. Uh, so let's look at this config. This seems like what we need to do. Um. Uh, yeah, I wish there was better. I can't believe that this shit is written in Python. That's actually, like, wild. Uh, I don't know what any of this means. All right, more coffee. Wait, let me disable the noise gate so you can uh, you can hear the coffee. Wait, go drink a coffee if you're one coffee away from being undepressed. Okay.
Uh... Wait, is this the same thing? Wait, 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 wait. I don't drink beer, but let me read this. Duo.com. Oh, no. All right. Should I read this out loud? Oh, fuck. It's almost 9 p.m. All right, well. Uh, okay. Ah. <sighs> Why is his name Stu? The fuck? They even have Bob, but instead of Alice, they have Stu. Fucking sexist. Oh, I see. Because beer drinker and software user. That's like how they call Eve. Uh, how they call the eavesdropper Eve instead of Kathy. Even though, you know, well, anyway. Okay, so the thing I'm c like concerned about here is... Um, we want... Based on these, based on this description, we want Keycloak to be our Kathy, like Alice, Bob, and Kathy, as as like canonical names and like security, whatever, because they're A, B, and C. Anyway, uh, so we we want this to be a resource or a, what a service provider, yeah, and then the identity provider is our our key cloak server. Yeah. That's gonna kind of suck though, cause well, okay, let's see. <sighs> spconfig is a config for the service provider. See the pi saml two docs for the format of a config. Okay. Well, who's C then, if it's not Kathy? Carol? I've heard Carol, but... That's kind of what I'm saying, though, because usually it's two people, Alice and Bob, and then you have, like, Eve or somebody who's a eavesdropper or an attacker. Even though, so they don't use C, even though there is, like, a name. I don't know. <laughs> Carol Christ. Christ, Christ, whatever. <sighs> okay. Config. Just want the config. Thanks, thanks. That really explains the pronunciation of the word you just typed out. Okay, so I, this is the um, this is the config that is in the matrix thing, I think. Yeah, I always talk about. I always give a story where I took this when I when I was a uh, when I was a young wee lad um, in Indiana taking standardized tests. They only give you um, six letters, 
for your first name on like the bubbles or whatever uh and you just fill in as many as you can and so uh yeah my name was christ cooper All right, I almost said your name and then I was like, eh, I'll pass. But if you want me to butcher it live, then feel free to give me permission. Yeah, so you see, so this SP config here, I think matches up with this. So yeah, for instance, you have metadata, entry ID, name, service. We should see all of those here. Yeah, metadata, what, what? Metadata. Oh, it's all, wait, it's all in metadata though. I'm confused by this. Okay. Remote service description name organization contact person. This looks different. The Cooper and the Christ. I don't get it. I think I have heard you explain the name thing before, but I can't say that I uh, remember perfectly. All right, this is this is really painful. I should have looked at this at a time. Let me just search some of these things and uh, see if I'm looking even in the right config. Um. Okay, wait. Default values will be used for the entity ID and service settings, so it's not necessary to specify them unless you don't override. So service and entity ID will already have default settings. I guess. <laughs> okay. So we just have to specify the other stuff? Yeah, okay, wait. So this is still confusing though, because this is indented like it's under metadata, but okay, hold on. Metadata. Ah, oh, excuse me. What KMO said. Uh blah, blah, blah. okay, okay. Metadata. They don't actually spell what? Local directory. I think this is just a typo. Like, I don't think this stuff is supposed to be under metadata. I think this is just a mistake. Um, so, because I think description, name, organization, contact person, um, I think those are all um let's see like top level things description oops description oh no okay here's a contact person they don't have description here but um organization name contact person yeah organization there's no name what this is like really messed up Maybe this is under metadata, but this isn't. Wait, but they do have it here. Oh my god, I don't I don't know what's going on, man. These docs are not <laughs> very straightforward. You just let me Google that for you'd me. Damn. Uh All right, I see. Funny. Yeah. Okay, okay. <clears throat> My guess is we would just leave this all commented out anyway. Let's see. Okay. So now is the part where I open up the key cloak 
control panel and uh, try not to leak anything. So this should be fun. Um, Oh, I think I already leaked something. Good thing my screen is blank. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see. Um. Okay. So this is the key code control panel. So you can see we have SAML 2.0 identity provider metadata. This is, uh, let me make this bigger, sorry. Let's go, we'll stop working. So we, we have this here. Um, so I guess this is what we want to use. Um, we need to, I don't need to figure out where the metadata file is. Um, uh, hopefully like that's available at a URL or something. E cloak SAML metadata URL. Wow. Uh, look here for latest. Are we on the latest? Oh, the latest is. Wait, that's a big difference. Are we on the latest? What version are we on? Whoops, whoops, whoops. <laughs> Wait, what? Damn. All right, we got to update that shit, apparently. Fuck. All right. SAML. Okay. Oh, so I guess maybe we do this when we actually create the... Huh. Go to your identity providers in the left bot menu item, select SAML 2.0 from the ad provider drop down menu. This will bring you to the ad identity provider page. Okay. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I guess this is the. Wait, okay, let me just copy this link and go to it in an incognito tab so that I'm definitely not leaking anything. Make sure I don't have anything stupid on my clipboard either. Okay, good. Yeah, okay. So I, I think this is the metadata um, page that we need. And this is the public key. So this is what I thought I was worried about leaking, but I'm pretty sure this is just a public key. Um, so basically, I think we just tell... I think basically all of the configuration we need to do here is just <laughs> do this, basically, um, but replace this URL with this. Oh my god, it's so laggy. This, right? Um, leaked my name. How did I leak my name? Oh, from the key cloak panel? I did. Yeah, that's my name, in case you didn't know. It's also on the Twitter profile that I have linked right below the stream. Um, okay. Let me see if I can do anything about this lag. No, whatever. It's fine, man. It's fine. Okay. Who needs smooth things? Anyway. I, the one thing I don't know is I don't know if I need to provide, create a new client, um, for this. Um,
like oh, what's going on um hmm. like it seems like it you should be able to just uh use it but what happens if i click the create button Client SAML endpoint. Okay, wait, that seems maybe relevant. I don't know. Uh... Okay, so this this part seems all right. Like, <sighs> um. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, this all seems fine. Honestly, I literally think like the only thing we need to do here is just add add this, quite possibly. Seems a little wrong, but... Alternatively, you may need a, a whole lot more detail. Hmm. Well, this is frustrating. This is a little frustrating. It would seem like we would need to um, create a client because I would think that otherwise it wouldn't actually be able to. Well, hmm. it, it would seem to me like otherwise, like if we don't if we don't create a client, like because it, basically, if you're a random person on internet, you shouldn't, you probably shouldn't be able to like authenticate against our key cloak. Although I guess there's no harm if you do that. Um, that makes me think that there's another step. Um, well, you know what? Let's just try it. Uh, so, Kamo, are, I hope you're still here. Um, are you telling me that this is the currently deployed branch right now? Should I deploy this on a... Uh, just like uh, another in another namespace or something to avoid like stepping on your toes here or like I, that that should be fine right if I if I use another namespace I just I don't want to eh, I, I kind of don't want to deal with it so I'm probably just going to use my own namespace um that should be fine I think all right let's see I need I uh for each chat message you get one cooper cuddle otherwise I use coop cuddle so I gotta gotta talk in chat y'all Yeah, one one Cooper Cuddle per sub. I get those subs in. What? Is this what happens if the namespace doesn't exist again? I never remember. Uh no, it does seem to exist. I don't know why. All right, whatever. Oh, these are back from when I was testing TFFS. All right, let me just delete these. Uh, and I think they have a corresponding PVC. So I'll delete that as well. Oh, this is slow. Oh, sorry, I can make this bigger. Okay. Uh, let me delete this.
Okay. Cool. Do I have matrix cloned? I do. Oh, was I working on this? Wait, hold on. No. Okay. Uh, how do you enable it though? At least one of SP config or config path must be set in this config to enable SAML logger. Wait, con what is config path? Oh, okay, cool. So we just need to do this. Uncomment this. Uncomment this. Uncomment this, uncomment this, and then, okay. And then here, uh, we use this thing we were just looking at. Why does Vim do this? Just because I paste something doesn't mean I want you to reinvent the line. I also don't, we, we should fix this. I don't know why the default YAML settings are like so bad. <laughs> uh, but anyway. Uh, I actually had practiced some, the practice part of Valorant is pretty weak. Wait, what? Practice some Valorant? Would be interesting if they had better practice options. Yeah, there's so, uh, maybe you're just bad. Wait, who are you talking to? Me? Is that in response to something? Because I, I feel like I'm missing context. Um, yeah, it does kind of suck. Like in CSGO, you can play against bots and the bots are like literally so stupid, but at least they exist. Um, and you can get an idea of the maps and whatnot. Um, there are a couple things you can do in Valorant. The training, if you, um, if you go to the training rant, land, like, bleh, you go to the training, like map, you can go um like there's the shooting range or whatever but if you go through the teleporter there are like these set piece um training things where you can practice um clearing out an area and planting a bomb and then you can practice plant like clearing out an area planting a bomb and then defending the plant um um but um, you can also do a custom map and load into a map just by yourself. But yeah, I do wish there were better practice options. It also sucks because if someone leaves your team, like literally you don't get any, like <laughs> in, in CSGO, if someone leaves your team, you get a bot and like the bots are bad, but at least once you die, you can take over the bot, right? In, in Valorant, literally all they give you is like a free ult point. Like there's just an orb in your spawn every round as an extra, instead of, instead of a person, like it's so unbalanced, but uh, it's, you know, whatever. YAML default is bad. Maybe you're just bad. Um, I am just bad. But to be clear, what I mean is the, the, the way Vim formats YAML. Like, I don't know why it's so broken. Um, we should probably just fix that in the OCF YAML config. Or the OCF Vim config, I mean. It's in response to the third person audience who does not have this Valorant imaginary people speak of. What? I, my brain is very broken. I know you're responding to me, but I don't. When did I bring up Valorant? Oh, where's my drops? Oh, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Got it. Got it. Just missed that one message, and then I was just like totally out of the loop. 
Hello, Ethan. Welcome. Ah. Uh, hope you are safe, <laughs> based on what I just read. Um, but yeah, okay, so the other thing we're gonna do here is uh, edit this whoops, to deploy into my own, first of all, uh, let's see, this is gonna build as matrix testing Cooper C, so I'm just gonna, actually, let me copy this, well, here, let's just do this, no, ah! synapse, no. This is a very sketchy way to do it. Oh, I didn't need to reopen it. Okay, whatever. Okay. I already forgot. I think it's Cooper C testing matrix, hopefully. Or is it testing matrix Cooper C? Matrix testing Cooper C, okay. Amazing. Uh, and then the other thing to do is just change the URL. Let's see, dev matrix dot dev Kubernetes dot OCF dot work you. Oh, but this is going to be a problem. Because you can't, you can't have multiple volume claims on the same NFS store. So... Uh, what is this actually used for? Let's see. Data. The actual... Okay, so the actual... Um, okay. Yeah, I'm fine out of Berkeley. Oh, good to hear. Naming things difficult. Yes, it is. Uh, well, the the other part part of the problem here is these tags. Uh, we use like a different. Every single repo like has a different has a different tag format. Like some are just testing username, some are username testing, some are app testing username, some are app like username testing app. You know, it's like it's kind of bad. Here's my. French press has been super silty lately, and I don't know if I should blame the French press or the grinder. Um, so my hope here is that this slash data doesn't include like anything except for like media. And if that's the case, then we can basically just uh, make this an empty dir. Um, and like just basically remove this and uh let's see well yeah let's just remove it entirely um see why did it indent that i didn't i didn't actually want that to happen whatever okay so we're gonna just try this um, and let's see what happens. We'll start up Riot too. Um, okay. Create new. Con what does that even mean? Um, how do you log into multiple? Can you not log into multiple things in Riot? All right, I guess I'm going to log out here and then log in. I know. Yeah, whatever. OK, uh, let's see. Cooper, dev Cooper C, Kubernetes, Cooper C, synapse.yaml. Oops. Y dash F. What? Hold on. I don't know why that... I should have had the ticket from last time, so I don't know what happened there. Does Valorant work in Wine, or does the rootkit not have you? No, it doesn't. I That was the first thing I looked at. Um, all these modern games rely on, like, freaking ridiculous anti-cheat that, like, does all sorts of really scary stuff. Um, and so, yeah, it does not work. Uh, 
Um, my go-to for playing games on Linux is Lutris. Um, but I, I should be, I, I should clarify. I like that was true, like when it came out. But of course, um, but I would be, I, I have a lot of comp. Like I would be extremely surprised if it works because I'm pretty sure they have some, like fucking insane anti-g that is just not reasonable but yeah anyway what did where did we do this uh cooper c dev matrix okay dev matrix dot dev kubernetes dot ocf dot dot u oh you know that now that i think about it this might break because we this is probably somewhere in the uh Oh, we also didn't build the Docker image. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh shit, wait, this might actually be a problem. Signing keys? What are signing keys? Hope this doesn't take it's Python, so it doesn't have to compile or anything. Shit. It's a key. It's a key you sign with. Thank, thank you, thank you, Sienna. Very helpful. Yeah, I generally just don't play games games on Linux if they have anti cheat. Yeah, I mean, like, there are games that have anti cheat. Like Overwatch, for instance, works fine on Linux. Um, actually, in, works impressively well on Linux, and of course they have some anti cheat, but. Um, like all the news, like for instance, like Warzone, for instance, like, well, okay, first of all, Warzone is a broken as fuck game. And like, even on Windows, it doesn't work. Uh, <laughs> I'm not salty. Um, and Um, so, and I think it's because of the anti-cheat that it doesn't work, but yeah, there's a lot of games like that. It's just like, what the hell? Blizzard has reversed wind bands, wine bands. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I know I've heard of this. Yeah. Yeah, that stuff was a little scary, but the thing is then the company like responded in a somewhat reasonable way and I was like, I'm willing to risk that. Um, and it's nice. Though actually, I, I have experienced one bug, which is sort of weird, and that is that my key, ooh, okay. My keys will stick. Like, like obviously my physical keys aren't sticking, um, but like I'll press W or something and then let go, but I'll keep moving forward until I press it again. Um, okay. The fuck? What is the error? Oh, wait. All right. <laughs> I hate my life. Uh, this always happens to me. I change the default permissions, like I set UMask when I log in and then every time I try and build a Docker image, it like complains because the permissions aren't the default. So let me just uh, change this really quick. Um, reminds me of when I played Minecraft over RDP and my mouse was messed up, yeah. CSU is trying to tell me that they have had no problem with it. Had no problem with what? Valorant on Linux. If that's the case, that's actually really good. But I'm press exit out. 
I guess I haven't tried it. I just sort of like looked online to see if anyone had done it, but that was also like the very first day. Oh, Warzone. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm sure it depends. Like, I went online, and there are a lot of people that seem to be having problems with it. Um, oh, so the one other thing I should do here is... Uh, I need to change the poll. Uh, image poll policy. Always, so that it will pull new ones. Um, because I'm going to keep using the same image tag, of course. So by default, by default, Matrix will not pull new images. Um, if it already has pulled an image by that name, but I'm using the same name for multiple images. Uh, oh, you hate to see it. Fuck. Okay. Mission denied. Um... My guess here is that it, the directory doesn't even exist. But wait, that would give e enoder, not eperm. Hmm. Valorant is riot cheating. Valorant, Valorant is riot. Riot anti cheat is annoying. IRC and they also made a big deal specifically for Valorant how they're spending a lot on anti cheat, especially because cheating is such a big problem in like CS:GO, which I think is one of the biggest groups that they're trying to sort of like recruit. If that makes sense, so. They always talk about like, oh, they did all this shit to uh, you know, keep keep cheaters from being able to use the game. I don't know what it is. My experience with Warzone is like I went with Warzone, um, you know, I went on like Reddit or whatever and like looked at people having this problem and people are literally like, yeah, just start the game and then rename the binary to appease the anti-cheat <laughs> and then continue playing. And then when you're done, name the binary back. Apparently it's always on. What does that even mean? Like it's running in the background even when the game isn't running? Not sketchy at all. Oh, uh, okay. I just I'm just going to change this so that at least the directory exists. Um, okay, well, let me just look here. Wait, what? I don't understand how this is working in production. Oh, this is managed NFS storage. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. I'm gonna just exec into the production pod and look at uh look at like what permissions are necessary there because I don't know why I would be giving a permissions error, to be completely honest. Uh, okay, cuprocodal dash n app matrix exec dash it bash. Okay. Probably a system service. I don't know. Seems like these companies just have like no <laughs> user respect. Uh, Hmm, that's interesting. I am confused by this, to say the least. 
is this file actually used? This data slash home server dot yaml? Because I would think that like is there uh, uh. Oh come on. Are you fucking serious? They wrote a kernel driver? What? That's wild, man. Okay, so the main home server.yaml is Etsy. This is. Hmm. These are very similar in size. <laughs> Runs in kernel space. Oh man. Oh no. Okay. Um. Well, anyway. thing is like the gamers don't care how sketchy the anti-cheat is like to be completely honest so they can kind of do whatever the fuck they want so camo did you have to create the files in this directory manually or like where did these come from i don't think i understand this part of it Okay, like auto-generated within the Docker container, or like, did you have to run a command or something? <clears throat> First time set up, you have to run a script. Shit. Yeah, all the game companies suck, low-key. Or like the ones that make the big multiplayer games. That That's exactly the appeal, Ethan. It is CSGO across with Overwatch. So it, it takes all of the... All the people that used to play CSGO but are like bored and are grumpy with the game and all the people that used to play Overwatch but are like pissed off. It's, it, it's it appealing directly to those people. It's just like something new, and it, it appeals to both of those audiences. What do you mean it's not new? I mean, like, the game itself is new. Um... And no one has put the concepts together quite like this, even though the individual concepts are obviously very old. Like, CSGO and Overwatch are obviously very different games, and no one has really thought about what it would... I mean, it's kind of like Siege, I guess, but it has more CSGO mechanics, and... I don't know, man. Siege is very much his own game, whereas this feels a lot more rip y in a way that will directly appeal to more CSGO players, I guess? I don't know. Uh, whatever. Uh, I got really distracted. What was I even doing? Docker file. Is this just the main Synapse client? Or the the readme for 
synapse. There's not nothing special for the excuse me. Nothing special on Docker Tub anyway. On Docker Hub. No oh yeah, I know I hear what you mean, Ethan. That's true. They're not doing anything particularly original. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but they have managed to combine a bunch of things that are sort of like already proven in a way that um people find very fun. So that's kind of what they're writing on. They just want a crossover episode, exactly. Maybe there's a readme in here? Okay, here we go. Are we using Postgres? I don't remember. <laughs> okay, we're not using... Okay, we're using SQLite. We should probably we should probably use Postgres, but this is good for now. It makes it easier to test. Oh, okay. So here's our. <laughs> okay, so we just have to run generate, I guess. This is fine. Okay. So let me. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add. I'll test the Ceph. Uh, let's see. I'll go ahead and use oh, blip blip blip. Actually, just gonna take this, add it to the bottom. Gonna make this FFS because why not? Um, and then I'm gonna apply this, and then I'll probably just uh, oh wait, I need to fix this too. Um, okay, so this is going to fail, but it'll set up the volume and then I should be able to actually here is what we can do. Uh, Kubernetes pod. <sighs> okay, I need to make it change the command line here. Uh, init containers actually we might want to use an init container well i guess this should only run like exactly once though so maybe not okay we want command i guess uh Uh, what is the default command? Oh wait, here we go. I guess we can just run generate because it should already have the entry point set. So let's try this. Basically, I'll just run this once um, and then hopefully it will run the generate command, and then once that's done, I can uh... seven restarts already. That's not a good sign.
God damn it. Is this the wrong pod or something? Oh yeah, wait, I'm basic. Okay, I think I'm just gonna assume that it actually did work. Um because the thing is it'll if it works, it'll just exit immediately. Oh no, wait. Oh okay. We don't want a command. We want um something else. Um Okay. Is home server.yaml being regenerated? What's happening? Um I yeah, I'm trying to run the generate command. I think we want args, I guess, then. The problem is, so the way, this is always super fucking confusing with Docker, but, um, basically in Docker, you can either set a command, uh, which says like in the Docker file, you can say, give a, give a, give a, give a command and then it runs the command. Um, or you can, holy shit, it's really hot. I don't want to open my window because fucking wasps always fly in, but. I think I might have to do it because it's really hot in my room right now. Um, is it like hot today? Or something? I'm also drinking coffee, so that's hot. Oh, everything's all right. Fishy. Um. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Right. So they set an entry point, which means that if you were to run on the Docker command line. Uh, anything you put sort of at the end of that Docker command line will be interpreted as arguments for that entry point. Um, but the problem is Kubernetes works slightly differently in that you can either set a command or you can set args, which use the existing entry point if, if one exists. So we want to set args here, not command, I guess. So let's just do this. Okay. Um, hmm. Synapse server name is mandatory. Okay, I guess we have to set these kind of dumb uh okay we just need these two i guess okay hold on Wow, I'm Vim Pro. Pulled from the old register. Amazing. Alright, dev. 
Wait, what, what was it called? Uber C Dev Matrix? Okay. Uber C Dev Matrix. That is CS at Berkeley.edu. Oh, wait, no. Dev Kubernetes. That's. Maybe I shouldn't have done this in my own namespace. This is kind of ridiculous. Synapse. Synapse. Report stats. Value. Yes. No. No. Yo, what up, Ernie? Hello, hello, hello. Going for the classic pod champ. The other thing I just realized is we don't need the deployment for this part. We actually only need a pod. So maybe I'll just rip this out. Actually, oh, come on. No, this is fine, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so what I'm going to do actually is just take this all, yank it, and then Uh, fuck, I don't... All right. API version kind of pop. This is what I need. Yeah. Okay, let's try just doing this. Let's delete the deployment for now. And then we'll just create that pod, which basically should just create the thing and then hopefully exit. We might need more containers later. Uh, what for? Uh, okay. Wait, did I give this thing a name? No. Oh, gotcha, yeah. No, this is, yeah, this is just for the one-off. Um, okay, so I think this worked. It maybe, it probably stopped, yeah, so it's restarted. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and kill it now. I think it works. And then we're going to remove those things from the deployment that uh, were the, like, the environment variables and stuff. Um, and we should be good to go, hopefully. Uh, okay, so this. These. And then, yeah, let's see this. Okay. Hopefully this fucking works this time. Error, 
You hate to see it. What is the error? Um, okay. Server is configured to use matrix.org as a trusted key server via the trusted key server config option. Matrix.org is a good server for a key server since it is long lived, stable, and trusted. However, some admins may wish to use another server for this purpose. Uh, what? Oh, this is fine. Okay. Permission denied home server.log. The above exception was a direct cause of the following exception. Unable to config. What the fuck? Oh, she's now we're having this problem where like <clears throat> you can't even get into that file system to figure out what's going on um, because I <sighs> see that uh, I don't even know why it would be is the log file log config. Ew, what? Wait, what is this? Maybe we just need that file. This file isn't in Git or anything though, right? I'm confused by this a little bit. Uh, let's see how it is on the, on the prod. Just, just in case. I, hmm. Yeah, it is weird that it doesn't have perms. So, I mean, yeah, there's nothing nothing to leak here. Sorry, I can go back to this. Um, so this is what it looks like on prod. This file should probably be in Git as opposed to just being in this data. Oh my God, all right, hold on. I need to open my window. What I'm going to do is try and uh, mount this FFS um, Um, and then we can just sort of poke around in there. FS volume ls. Not, not volume. Status. How about that? I want the list. Hmm. I don't remember how to do this. Hmm. 
SF FS list file systems, something like that. Wait, there's only one file system, I think. Wait, hold on. Okay, hold on. Uh, let me just try this. And see where. Pseudo mount uh, is mount.ceph a thing? Yeah, pseudo mount.ceph. Oh, wait, I already did this. Okay. I don't know what this is, but name Rados user to authenticate when using CephFS. Oh, we probably need this. I might have deleted this authentication already though. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, easy. All right. <laughs> okay. CSI. Presumably it's this volume. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're in. Um. This is a little bit weird. I don't know why it says matrix.ocf.edu.sign and key. Because it should be. Oh, hmm. this is this is strange to say the least. Let's look at the difference between these two log config files. They're totally different. I'm actually deeply confused here. So we just need to disable the file one, but why is it even using this one instead of this one? Right? Like what? Is there something that I missed in the in the like configuration if you look here synapse config path etsy matrix home server dot hmm and this is pull policy always right so uh, uh. what wait i thought i fixed this Okay, well, maybe that's the problem. This makes sense, although it's kind of weird. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm honestly confused about this file. I don't know how it got here. Oh, wait. Wait, I'm boosted. Oh my god, wait. So yeah, like... <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, so let's just uh, cha like, change this, I guess. Alright, this is probably fine. Um, and then... We're literally just doing all of this to test, it's kind of dumb. Wait. Oh. Oh, this is the wrong name, Chase. All right, let's delete this pod and uh, hope that it repulls the good one. Yeah, so to be clear, I think what was happening is. Um, we generated this file, basically, uh, when we ran generate. But then when the server started, it looked for this file because it was explicitly stated in the home server.yaml. 
And this file then got auto-generated without knowing that it was being generated in a Docker container or anything like that, which meant that it included the file handler, which we don't actually use. Um, and, and so then the result of that was that it was trying to log to this file, and this file does, is useless in the Docker container. Um, and so that was that was causing the problem, I think. Oh shit, running. Okay. Oh fuck. Wait, it's actually worked. Okay, hold on. So it's running now, finally. Now we can finally test the actual thing we care about, which is can I log in? No. F. Get some Fs in the chat. This is good. So what is the problem here? Not a chunk light. Wait, this is actually broken. Okay, hold on. Let me just kill this and try again. Also, wh what do you mean cannot reach home server? I know. I'm trying to sign in instead. Oh, okay. Here we go. Sign in with SSO. Wait, okay. Oh, shit. Okay, wait. So now we just need to add the client. Wait, guys. Guys, it's fucking... Okay, first of all, can someone real quick like make sure that I didn't bring down main matrix? Um, but also, we're fucking... We're in. We're in, boys. Shit. All right, all right. Client ID. Specifies ID reference in... Uh, okay, let me just do matrix. I am protocol, SAML, client, SAML, endpoint. Uh, what the fuck does that mean? All right, let me just do this. Um, okay. Okay, let me uh let me let me blank that and generate new keys. Be back. Okay, so I think I just need to basically valid redirect URLs. This is probably what we need. I don't actually know what I need to set up here. Uh, worker identity providers. Uh, th no, this isn't what we want. We want it to be, we want to add a service provider. Okay, managing client. SAML clients. Okay, here we go. Um, so my guess is we just actually need to fill in the client SAML endpoint. I just don't know what it is for matrix, so we should just figure that out, I guess. Uh, time to search. SAML auth needs doc. That's fucking, that's true. The existing doc, oh my god. Dude, it's so fat, like, what? The existing doc is the config file. Like, come on. Uh oh, it's, it's sad. Um, so is it a fault just SSO or something? Like, wait. Uh, wait, hold on. Let me try this again. I think it'll tell you. Demo requests. Leak. Be like, wait, it doesn't. <laughs> hmm.
Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's just look in the code because apparently um, <laughs> it's the best we can get. Okay, maybe this is actually what we need. Is there a way to description? Da 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 da. Fine grain SAML endpoint configuration. Ah, oh, dude, why is this? Why is there not a <laughs> Do you... this... <laughs> I just need documentation, man. Fuck. Look at all this shit. Oh, man. Uh, okay. Instead of manually registering, you can import it via standard SAML entity X descriptor XML file. Uh, wait, maybe this is what I need to do, actually. Is that what this is? Okay, if I go to this URL, what is there? Hmm. It seems promising. So this is an entity descriptor. Is that what it said? Wrong, wrong one. There we go. Camel entity. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let me just download this. All right, okay, hold on. Yeah, metadata.xml. Great name. Okay, I'm going to delete this. Super C dev matrix. So the root URL, I'm still a little confused about. Um, so let's try and figure out what that is. Root URL. I'm just going to leave that on configure, I think. Um, okay, so do this. <laughs> Client ID. No, 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 no. Cooper C dev matrix. Okay. Uh, success. Okay, wait, let's just see if it works now. Place your bets. Place your bets, chat. Damn! Oh, come on. All right. Oh, wait. Do we have to add a scope? Full scope allowed. That seems fine. F. Yeah, that's that's true. That's an F. Hmm. We need, I guess we do, we definitely need the client SAML endpoint, whatever the fuck that is. Maybe it's this. Hmm. How would this not be in the metadata though? That's, excuse me, that's what it, that's what confuses me. I'm just going to try this um, and see if it works. Maybe. Well, yeah, this is fine. Uh, as the um, wait, it has it here. What? What do you mean unknown requester? How is this? How is it unknown? Um, um.
Okay, wait, hold on, what is it? What is this error? Let me just Google the error. I think you missed a tab. Um, what do you mean by a tab? I skipped over the SAML keys tab because it's literally just plain text keys and I don't want to leak them. Login requester. E cloak. What does this mean? Wait, hold on. Are you telling me that the name matters? The client ID? Specifies ID reference in URI and tokens. For example, my client. For SAML, this is also the expected issuer value from authn requests. Dude. What does this even mean? Oh man, okay. Maybe it has to match something in here? Does it have to match this? I don't think so. Wait. What? Damn, what the fuck is what the, how does how does SAML work? Bro. Yeah, no no more in the thread here. Okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> it's in fucking uh is really not helpful. Damn. I feel like I must just be misses. Okay, for SAML, this is also the expected issuer value from authn requests. <laughs> How do I issuer like fucking? <sighs> okay, hold on. Dude, what the... Mm, mm. <laughs> what is entity ID? All right, you know, let, let's just, I if this works, I'm going to be sad, but let's just try this. I can't imagine that that's actually relevant. But at the same time, I'm like, confused. Dot requester, it's probably just time dot. Wait, it changed. 
invalid requester. Bruh. What does that mean? Check Loki River. Do they use SAML? No, yeah, maybe we can look at one of the other SAML clients. Um, wait, it doesn't even show up here. What the hell? Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Wait, no, that's a, let's see. Try some random things. Uh, this is OIDC. I think, see, the problem is I think everything else is OIDC instead of SAML. Like, I don't know that we actually have anything that uses SAML. Oh, like look at the logs. Okay, yeah, this is OIDC. This is OIDC. All right, fine. I'm going to blank the screen just because I'm a little worried. I think this is okay. Uh, Sig Alk was known. Okay. So, let's see. Yeah, Sig Alk was null. Okay. Invalid signature. Okay, okay. Uh, why does it cut me off here? Okay, so this is what it was saying. This is the problem from before. Client not found. So now the client is found, I guess. Yeah, so I guess we can just say, I guess that that one thing was right, whatever it said about disabling signature. That seems ins like, this seems like not what you want to do, though. Right? Client signature required. I guess we can turn this off, but it seems like that should be on. I don't know. I don't know if that makes things like more insecure or something. Oh, oh fuck! Wait, this means it worked. It just didn't give enough info back. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, wait, we're so close. Right, name, ID, format. Yeah, we gotta tell it to pass back the UID. However you do that, mappers, I think is what we want. Great. Uh, name. Uh, user property. Uh, UID username, is this all we need? That's a total shot in the dark, but let's see. All right, RIP. We're back though. Gotta love Wayland. Okay, give me, give me a second to open everything back up.
I literally was about to click on it and it was going to work. And then I try to resize the window. And this is this is what this is what happens. God damn it. Ah, all right. Ah. Uh, give me one second. I I do be back though. Sorry, I'm waiting on Firefox to start, which, um, as we've discussed in the past, is uh, a non-trivial operation. Uh, let's see. We should be good here. Okay. Let's try. Oh, lag, 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 lag. Okay. Yes, sign in. Opened it in the wrong Firefox. Fuck. Okay, that didn't work. Yeah, uh, well, like I said, it was a shot in the dark, so. Um, wait, what was there? Hold on. UID non sample to response. Um, okay. Can we tell it to just what is in the sample to response? We scope. Hmm. 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 Um, okay. Let's see what the key club docs say. I don't care about this. Okay. Um, this is... OIDC token and SAML. Okay, I don't care about that. Oh, wait, what? Okay, hold on. Applications that receive ID tokens, access tokens, or SAML assertions may want or need different user metadata or roles. KeyClick allows you to define exactly what is transferred. You can hard code roles, claims, and custom attributes. Uh, excuse me, you can pull user metadata from into a token or assertion. You can rename roles. Basically, you have a lot of control of exactly what goes back to the client. Wait, so this seems, this makes it seem like this is what we wanted. Hmm. Huh. Okay. You turn this off. Yeah. Let's just leave this on. Add built in. Yeah. What does this do? Okay, so 
So maybe we were on the right track. Uh, right, hold on. Let me just look up what the, like, let me go to my user and, like, look at actually what the... <laughs> okay, so, like, we want the, I think basically we want the user role mapping. So what is this? Okay, this is fine. Uh, I think basically we want the user username, user property, like this, property, username, SAML attribute name, UID. Is that it? Like, I don't think this, I think this is just a, oh, ah, fuck, <laughs> I'm bad, okay, the property, UID, username, UID. See, but it says not, uh, okay. Uh, okay. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. What are these attribute maps they speak of? Like I think this would I don't I don't really understand oh, oh wrong one. I don't really understand why this isn't doing the the thing. Although it's really hard to tell like what is in the response, if that makes sense. Like, I, I want to see what the actual SAML response is. Um, oh, here, let's just, uh, just, Okay, this is a post. Sorry, this is probably really strong, small. Okay, this is yeah, great. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a giant base sixty four encoded thing. Um. Let's just uh, let's just like take the first part of this and uh see what it is like my oh god oh no all right what is <laughs> dude okay um let's see i didn't copy Copy. Hello? Ah, it's like there's too much on my clipboard or something. Okay, never mind. It's just not copying this. It really doesn't want to. Take the first bit. I This doesn't look like it's ASCII or anything, but... Um, 
at the same time. I don't know. Uh, what? Why can I not copy from this, dude? What the hell? Get mad. It's not happy about this. Okay. It's even beeping at me. Fuck. Well. <sighs> This is this is a little bit frustrating. This is a little this is a little frustrating. I don't I don't know why this isn't showing up. Um because I would think it would be there. And I don't know how to like look and see um I don't know how to look or look, look 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 and see what what attributes are actually getting getting to the client. That makes sense. Uh, okay. Let's see. Dude, ah, this is uh, not a particularly fun time. Like, Uh, hmm. Hmm. Oh man. It makes me wonder if I need to like uh... hmm. I need to like add a client scope or something. Oh shit. I probably do. Wait, what client scopes do we have here? Default client scopes. I see. I don't know why it doesn't create similar like one. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Uh, uh. Damn, I'm. Let's see. Username. I uh, like I feel like I shouldn't need to do this if I also have the mapper here already, right? Like do I need both? Do I need to set this? Um I guess I don't really understand Uh, okay. Mm. Let's just try this. A list of properties that matrix needs. I think just UID. It's not entirely clear to me, to be honest. Um, yeah, I this this is not like well, particularly well documented. It seems like. See, this is like exactly the same, uh, dude. Scope. I don't. Yeah, I don't think I need to do this. Ah. I don't think I understand what a role is. <laughs> like, I don't... Uh, I feel like the mapper here should be, like, enough. What? What is the problem? Oh, this is frustrating. Okay, so this is what I did. Those two mappers should be created. So the thing is, I already created two mappers. Like, this is the, or I didn't create two, but like, the problem is, it's saying that it can't find this one, which I actually created. Like, 
I don't know. I could use I could change it to URI reference and see if that fixes it, but that'd be kind of dumb. Uh, it doesn't fix it. So the one other thing is it could actually just be giving a bad error message and like maybe we need to do that other stuff for like maybe, wait, is this the same blog post that I was already looking at? Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> I already had this open. I just didn't look at it. Um, maybe I need this too, the friendly name. It just, it doesn't seem like this is the problem. Um, and, and it's not even getting to this point. So like, that is what's confusing me here. Uh, yeah, it's the, and this is, this is not real. Like we don't need to do this because we have, uh, I mean, we'll need to add a mapper for that, but okay. SAML to identity provider metadata file. Um, uh, right, so Um, this is confusing me as well. Like, do we need this? Is this the problem? There's an attribute section. Modify the matrix install, I guess, or the matrix config. Um, sorry, there's an attribute section. What am I? What am I missing here? I mean, I know you said this earlier, but I think I already did this. Hmm. See, like this is all the default stuff. Like I don't think we should have to modify any of this. Um, the only thing is maybe we need to download the key pair. That would kind of piss me off though. We don't need to do this bit because we're using the actual URL provided by Keycloak, which is actually what they recommend. So, uh, yeah, okay. Mm. You, this shouldn't be necessary, right? Like, <laughs> like, how is this not the default? I'm. <laughs> Dude, fuck.
Yeah, like this is this is the default. Like this, we we don't need to actually provide all of this level of shit. That's, that's what I'm saying. I mean, like, I don't know. Like basically, this entire file is is you don't need to do that. This is basically all default except for this, which we configure in a different way. Um, I don't know if we need to like configure the key pair somehow. Let's see. Keys. No, this is the wrong kind of key. <laughs> um. Keys. So maybe we need to define the key pair. The only thing I can think though, like the Python file doesn't need to be added to matrix. Which Python file? The only thing I can think is basically that it's trying to, it doesn't have the key pair, so it gets the SAML response and it can't decode it correctly. And so instead of giving a sensible error about that, it's basically just, basically just says, uh, can't find UUID. It's pretty much the only thing I can think right now, but let's look at the logs. Or right, actually we can just do this. Pro tip, log deployment, slash matrix deployment. Perhaps the keys might be something to check on then. Maybe. Okay, this seems SAML assertion. No, it seems like it's able to get the assertion fine. Unknown attribute name. Oh, well, it should be fine. Confused by that. Hmm. Okay. So here's the error. Now to response lacks a UID attestation. Ah, uh, okay. It does seem to lack a UID attestation. That's interesting. And that you search your ID, it doesn't show up. Oh wait, no, it does. Wait, hold on. It's an attribute. So it's between an attribute and an attestation. Yeah, if I don't get very far with this soon, I'm probably just going to try and uh, fix the keys, I guess. I feel like attestation is literally just a like something they made up. I don't think this is a SAML handler.
Okay. Um, let's look at the reference for PySAML2. Oh, do they have a reference here? This is, okay, I guess we're... Uh, well... Oh, okay. Um... What is SAML.md? Where where did you see that? In Synapse? Oh man, okay. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I, I clicked through it really quick, but this is saml.md. It's a it's not actually about how to use SAML, it's about how to basically mock a SAML server for testing. What is this AVA thing? Okay, hold on. I don't want to test. Okay, here we go. This is looking good ish, maybe. Um, Attribute converter. What is an AVA? Ah, oh, dude. How is there not better documentation on this? This is literally so painful. Okay, where is this type defined? Whoops. Get identity, okay. Assertions. Encrypt assertion. Hmm. Yeah, so this is all one big assertion. This is dude. Need a XML pre printer book. Shit is ridiculous. Okay, uh... Hmm. <laughs> uh, XML is an antonym of pretty print, yeah. 
Logger.debug. Is debug on? I'm gonna guess not. Hmm. Saml mapped attributes. Empty. Wait. Maybe that's the problem. Hold on. Saml mapped. Oh, Saml to mapped attributes. Saml to mapped attributes. Saml to auth AVA. So the AVA is empty. That seems wrong. Trying to search the issues. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Attributes are fine in the mapping, but I found the problem was because this is unencrypted assertion. Oh, shit. Oh shit. Maybe it is the keys. Dude. Oh, it's the same issue. Oh, that's how you know you're closing in. Okay, okay. Thanks. Uh. Version was not encrypted, had nothing to do with the other issues, is the debug log line. I'll make sure we expose slash document allow unknown attributes if we don't already do. Allow unknown attributes is expose the config option. Configuration should be on the same level as entity ID. Uh, what? Wait, 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 wait. So why? Hold on. Okay, let me read this a little better. So my question now is, why is this not default true in, in Synapse if it needs unknown attributes to work? Like something seems wrong here. Oh shit, wait, what? Hmm. Uh, okay, what are these? What is def? Okay, what are we using? Earn Oasis Names TC Saml 
attribute okay, adder and that name URL basic. Wait, what about URI? Hmm. We must want basic. Still, it seems like we need the whole long, like, okay. I'm also confused because the, there should be an attribute mat for this already. Like, Synapse, ugh. Okay, hold on. You're going to use custom attributes you would need to define them as an attribute name map of your own but we do we not have an attribute map like oh uh, man this is like frustrating this is frustrating is this the handler or the yeah this is the handler okay Dude. This is ridiculous. I don't know why anyone is still watching at this point, to be honest. <laughs> like, this is so obnoxious. Oh, man. Solidarity. Oh, uh, yeah, that sounds about right. Like, Jesus. Maybe we do need to add the. Um. Where was that? Maybe we do need, like, the attribute mapping after all. This thing. I don't know why that wouldn't be default though. Like, it's just so. Like, you need that, obviously. Frustrating. To say the least. Oh, how's this used? Okay.
attribute mapper. What? Dude. Is this the guy? Is this the blog post that I'm reading? Uh, it's not clear. Bruh. Oh shit. Okay. Ah, dude. How is this not? What the fuck? I don't fucking understand how this isn't just fucking built into, like, why wouldn't Synapse have this? Ah. Uh, uh, uh. All right, all right. We're going downhill. Okay, so here's what we're going to try and do. We're just going to use this, like... I swear to God, if this works. What? Wait, wait, I think it actually worked. This this makes me think that it tried to redirect to the um the like vector.im or whatever address. Wait, hold on, okay. Copy link address. Okay. Oh, oh, oh what? Uh, wait, dude. Wait, I, I, <laughs> I think it actually did work. It's just, okay. Hold on, hold on. Uh, 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 okay, let me try this in like Chrome or something. Maybe Chromium will understand how to. Like the problem is that the URI, the redirect URI, like isn't registered. Or, oh, come on, fucking. Oh. Oh man, okay, wait, I'm so close. I think this, please work, man. Come on. Please. Try the web client, yeah, it's a good idea. Yeah, you're right. Um, probably an issue with the Arch packaging, honestly. Holy shit. 
Bruh. Ugh. Fucking finally. Wait, can someone else log into this? Uh, the server URL is... Uh, I'll just put the server URL in chat. Use like the... Um, yeah, try the web client. I'm going to look up see if this is an issue with the arch. Uh, hmm. Arch riot. This is so. In Riot Web 1.6, the flow doesn't break out browser, but it currently should open in the app. 1.6, a riot. Oh, the browser knows where to send it. Uh... Hmm. Yo, someone DM me. Wait, what? This is broken. Uh... It's so long. Oh man. Okay. No. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Dude. Why is this thing broken? What? Oh my god. Okay. Uh, I'll just type it. Yo, shit. Yeah, I think you just have to type the whole ass fucking the long form. <laughs> like <laughs> this whole thing. Oh, man. It's okay. You know, once this is in prod, you can just do colon ocf.org.edu and it should work. Um, You know, once we have federation set up and all of that good shit. Um, and change the server name to ocf.berkeley.edu and whatever. And uh, drop all the database and everything. Okay. So the annoying part about this is that it's like the bulk of the configuration is just <laughs> fixing bullshit in Keycloak. Um, I'm a little skeptical actually to... Oh, so one other thing I wanted to look at is in this blog post, do they require... Let's see. Do they have a uh, response signature validation? Um, okay, hold on. Client signature required, off. Okay. This is fine. Um, and do they do anything for email? Um, hmm.
They don't do anything for email, so I have to think about this. I have to figure this out. It worked via Firefox. I use nightly. Did you use? Yeah, I, I think it's a, an issue with the Arch packaging for the Riot client. Um, yeah. So she there's a there's this big issue that I was looking at here. Um, this is still. Hmm. Looks like they're making progress, but here, I'll show you this issue. It's just an arch thing, I think. Um, yeah, I think just SSO using Riot is just broken on arch, but it's unrelated. Okay. All right, wow, this is cool. Um. So I want I want your feed y'all's feedback on this. Um, oh my god, my ears hurt from my headphones. Should I enable this on? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Should I enable this on the actual production thing? Um, well, I guess I should set up everything in Key Cloak, and then just make a PR. Um, but the the question is kind of like, if we do this, then you're not able to sign in with your old account, um, which I guess is fine because we're probably going to drop the entire database before we do anything else. But um, um anyway. Yeah, steps left for a prod major service. Federation is definitely the big one. Um, we should be using um, a database other than SQLite. Um, yeah, so moving to Postgres, like you said. Um, and it's less important right now, especially given that we have stuff. But yeah, turn would be nice. Um, hosting, you know, putting, um, putting media on Ceph would be nice. Uh, but yeah, that's mostly just those things. Ethan HS is typing. Hi, chat. Uh, okay. So, let's change my name, email address. So, I wonder if there's a way to autofill this. That would be nice. Is da 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 da. Yeah, so it looks like we should probably disable password login, disable the local DB. Um, one other thing is, I don't know if it actually even tries to get email from SAML or if there's a way to tell it to do that. Uh, let's see. I guess not. It's kind of annoying. I'm actually a little surprised about that. Cuz it looks like there's a way to do that for like LDAP. Let's see. 
Hmm. 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 Um, there's also a question of whether or not we want to autofill display names with full names. I don't know how people feel about that. Um, email server settings should be something we set up, but that's relatively minor. Yeah, there's a lot of relatively minor config weeks that should probably happen. Um, and that's one of them. But the, 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 the bigger question is like, uh, it should know that your email address is your username at ocf.berkeley.edu. Um, or at least it should add that as an email address, and then you can add more PPIDs, three, three PIDs, third party IDs. Um, what is the default to UK? Oh, whatever. Are they based in the UK? Pogchamp. Um, okay, synapse, SAML email. Just look real quick. Email. Email. How can we use, we use IDP like Keycloak, SSO, and synapse? How can we use information like email? Got a display name, but through no three PID info. Let's not give any email on how to populate emails or other things. Well, um. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a good thing, good way to do this right now, I guess. Hmm. Well, okay. Mozilla does use matrix now. Where is the Mozilla support? Sassel? Also, yeah, Federation, Postgres, emails being at ocfw.eu are things I would want before prod being a thing. Absolutely. I agree. Um, the emails are less important because you can add your own email and yeah, like that's probably something that you would want to do anyway. It would be nice to automate that, but I don't know if there's a way to do that right now. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure they do use SSO. Um, but I don't know what it looks like on their back end. Like, I don't know. Ethan, you, do you know anyone from like, from Mozilla? Uh, it doesn't really matter. I mean, we're not gonna have a like look into how they're. Yeah, I don't know. Um, let's just look into this a little bit, actually. Let's look into the email thing. I don't want to, I mean, I just drank a bunch of coffee, so I'm not going to go to sleep until like 10 a.m. anyway. So, uh, I might as well look into this a little bit. What just happened?
Oh, Mozilla. Okay, so let's just look at all these tabs. Okay, what do they say about email here? Oh, this is a thing I already read. All right, beautiful. Useless. Ah, in the case of an instance in which SSO backend is quite restrictive or doesn't allow passwordless email login, makes SSO feel a bit clunky to have a confirmation step after successful authentication. I think we should expand the sample config with details about when it's safe. We'll safe. Okay. Uh, Great. This doesn't. Uh, okay. Oh, what? Yo, is there an open issue for this? As part of the SAML2 login flow, we normally get an email address back from the SAML2 provider. We do? What do you mean? Oh, wait, this is just saying like, it is common for the SAML2 provider to provide an email address and we totally fucking ignore it. Okay. Oh wait, this is, <laughs> okay, so this is, cl this is closed now, I guess. So maybe we could just write a patch for this. I don't know what it needs. March 3rd though, what is March 3rd? Oh, the date here, yeah. Okay, these are all related. All right, okay, let me close some of this other shit because I think this is mostly unrelated. Um, yeah, okay, I don't care about this. This is, don't, don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Okay, yeah, these are the ones we care about. Okay, user inactive auth doesn't support SSO flows means you can't delete devices on systems that use SAML. What? So this is all really fresh, eight days ago. Um,
Okay, they keep referencing this one. What is this again? This seems like a little bug. I don't think this is relevant. Okay. I see. So this issue isn't actually, it doesn't depend on this or anything. It's just saying that because of this, you like literally can't add emails. Um, okay. New user profile from the SAML identity provider. Profile entity gets updated on on successful author registration. Now display name is recorded in user profile. Only when you first log in using SSO, if users record already exists in the Synapse database, display name from SSO is ignored. When I have a single identity provider that this provides display name attribute, I expect this change of display name will spread to all integrated systems. What would be the mechanism of getting updates? Yeah, so these are all cross-referenced. Um, hmm. I guess it's just an open issue. Uh, this is no longer true. So you can add emails at least now, which is good. Like you can just go in here and then go to settings and add an email, which I guess you couldn't do before. <laughs> um, but uh. Very fancy. Um, okay. So, yeah. Whoops. But this is just still open. So I guess we need to just modify the default SAML mapping provider to include mapping for the uh, email. Would be my guess. Um, SAML response to user attributes. This seems like what we want. Uh, uh, well, maybe. maybe. The following keys are allowed. Okay, so I guess this is the problem. Uh, doesn't know how to, uh, what's the word? Um, yeah, so this is a deeper problem actually. Where's this called from? This is concerning. Unable to generate a thousand iterations. What? 
I don't even want to know, man. Okay, attribute dict. This seems fine. What does it do with this? Uh, okay. It just gets the mix ID local part and display name. And then down here, it registers the user. So can we pass in an email when we register the user? Because if so, that should easy. I don't want tests. No, stop with the tests. Oh my god. Wait, there isn't... Doesn't Git... I thought GitHub is supposed to be able to do this for me. Alright, damn. Uh, okay. Registration handler. Takes a list of emails, looks like. Can you link me to where you see that? Um, what am I doing? Work synapse real quick. This past emails in some reserve you searched lol. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, what? I don't know why my fucking copy paste is broken. Uh, okay, let's see. That was. Oh no, not that. Little, 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 little. The user. Right. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. I see this. Um. Okay. Wait, this is literally, this seems like this should be a fucking easy ass patch. Like for real. Oh, wait, but, oh, wait, is this? What is this class that I'm in here? Module API. Okay, so we're not in a module, so I don't think this is actually the one we care about. This is in the registration store. And this is in the registration handler, I think, right? Yeah, okay, so this is the one we want. So I guess we want, to, we want bind emails here. I think this is easy. <laughs> yeah, source graph. Um, yeah, no, yeah, I got the. So I think that that one um, is specifically for like modules to use. Um, but then if you look, it calls the register user in the um, registration handler, um, which is the one that is called by the SAML code too. So uh, oh come on, that took too long to type my password. So if you look here, matrix synapse, oh, it's still down there. Okay. Uh, what was this fucking file? Um, SAML handler, I guess. Says handlers, right, synapse handlers, SAML handler. Uh, 
Um, register. Yeah, so here, this this calls it on the registration handler. So um, that would be, you know, this uh, uh, prototype function, function, whatever it's called. Yeah, this function. Anyway, so we just need to pass bind emails. So this is uh, pretty straightforward, actually. Kind of concerningly so. Signature, yes, thank you. Okay. Wait, why do they use double quotes? What? What? <laughs> I've never seen that. Ethan, do you have a response? The double quotes, are they breaking you? Okay, so there's that, and then we need the default um, SAML and map provider, and then we just need to add email in here. Oh, UID, okay. All right, we don't care about this stuff. Um, wait, where's, oh, this is the right function. Wait, okay, hold on. Attribute dict, okay. This is what we care about. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If display name is none, the mix ID local part will be used instead. Why is this um hmm. Do you return multiple emails? This is an array. Or like, this is an array, and then we just take the first one. We also do the same thing here. I guess if you're doing this, like this dict, or like dicty, dicty thing, returns an array. Python 0.9 had to write double quotes or a syntax here. <laughs> Damn. That's facts, PHP, just just saying. <laughs> Camo coming out with the real questions though. So the thing is like if we respond with multiple emails, theoretically, like that's fine. We should just take all of them. Um, but I want to make sure that that's actually what this thing is giving. So, me, if I can find any fucking documentation in in um, like oh god. 
It's really frustrating. Like there, I don't, I can't see any reference for this shit. Class and object structure. Structure. Switch AVA. The fuck? Dude, I, uh, uh, are there just like not like docs? Like, where is just the reference? Like the API reference? What the fuck? Uh, uh. Like, am I missing something? The first non-depressing one that I had watched yet was No Game, No Life. <laughs> okay. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna do this, and if they roast me in the in the in the review, like I'm fine with that. Just gonna use multiple. Kaguya Sama. Okay. No comment. Oh, it's fine. You all know I don't. I don't watch anime. I have no clue what Kuya Sam is. Don't don't worry about it. I'm sure it's. I'm sure it's great. Isn't there a whole channel for that on IRC? Yeah. See, you know, 
if I if I did watch anime, it would be one of the first ones I watched. I'm sure. Okay. Is this really like all we need? I think there's another. I. I th hmm. Hmm. There's something else we need. Surely. Oh, we need it in the in the mapper. Um. Well. Okay, yeah, this is what we need. We need to add it here. Um, oh. oh, come on. What, are you are you okay, PHP? What's going on? Oh, yeah, it is seven feet. Counting is hard. It's okay. I'm a math major. I would know. Oh fuck, I'm not a math major anymore. I can't say that. Fuck! That's truly tragic. Okay. Um, okay, let's add it here as well.
All right, I got really distracted here. What was the other file? These two. No, no. Oh, oh so now it's config saml2 to config.py. It's config saml2 config.py. Cool. You didn't say mommy or ban me. You said mommy or mommy. You didn't really give me a choice. Kind of rude. Is this really all I have to do? This seems too easy. Hmm. I need to update those docs too. Oh, right, this confuses me. Details such as a user ID, local part, display name, and even avatar URLs are all things that can be mapped from talking to an SSO service. But then, <laughs> it says building a custom mapping provider. There's no way to respond, respond, respond with the avatar. We actually want that too, because we have we want to use. We no, I don't know. We should default to gravatar probably. Um. <laughs> All right, fuck it. Wait, do I need to bump the version? Probably not. Hmm. Okay, now the question is, how do I test this? <laughs> ah. uh, okay. Uh, okay, let's just try this. Docker. Oh no, the permissions are all gonna be fucking wrong. Alright, well, we're just gonna do this. 
Um, yeah, hopefully that's fine. Docker build dash t. Oh wait. What are all this? What, what is this shit? Oh, this is the generate. Okay. Okay. All right, so we're just gonna build this and then deploy it and watch it break because I'm too busy to figure out how to set up a development environment. We're too, too lazy. It should work as is, it just won't have the emails, um, but then uh, then we can you know drop the database or something. And Actually, I'm not sure how to delete my user because the problem is it will only get this stuff when you first create your user. So, you know. Yeah, I I could just delete the SQLite DB. The thing that I'm concerned about is that I don't know if generate like does creates the tables and everything. Does that make sense? So if I do that, I might have to rerun generate and. I don't know, you know that that was a huge fucking hassle, so. Oh fuck, it's midnight. Alright, this is probably going to take a while. Yeah, yeah. I mean, actually, I still have the. I still have the thing for running generate. Like, um, I still have the pod YAML, so I could probably just rerun generate. Theoretically, that might work. Um, uh, but. a little scary i guess and the issue with like the log whatever was fixed too so uh. All right, let's do something interesting in the meantime. It's probably going to take a while. What should we do?
Oh, oh my god. Dude, I love Wayland. Alright, this is not working. The Wayland Experience. Uh, let's just look at my pull requests, I guess. SMH, they need to merge that shit. Oh, I need to test this. Uh, I don't know how to test this. Well, I'm just testing fraud. It's probably fine. Um, So Ku is holding the key alive DIP right now. Let me go to puff the, oh fuck. Go to lightning and then just put this on one of my code environments. Okay, yeah, so we'll use Cooper C3. I made this during do it when with the GitHub web editor because I was like researching it and I just Wanted to get it done before I forgot, but um, let's see. Get check out. Blah. Whoops. Oh my god. Copy and paste is fucking broken. What you web socket? Timeouts. Okay. Go to coup. Move to coup for C3. Ugh. Okay, the proxy still looks okay. Uh, so let's see this. Um, so the issue right now basically is that, uh, where is it? Oh, come on. Oh no. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, yeah, so this, oops. So you have this thing which opens a WebSocket. Um, but the problem is this web just socket just like eventually dies. So you'll see it pop up again in like 30 seconds. So we'll just wait and see if that happens. Uh, and if not, then I'm going to presume this worked. It doesn't seem to have broken anything too, so that's good. Why does it take so long to build this Docker container? Holy shit. Ethan, is this what the pi- Oh, it's done, okay. Oh no, it's pulling, oh my god. Ethan, is this what the Python ecosystem has come to? NPM install is, is, is fucking faster than this shit. Oh, it's done, okay, never mind. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remake, uh, whoops, remake our Docker file uh, using, Whoops. Using the Docker image I just built. 
basically. Um, hmm. Oh, this is, wait. Push two. So I didn't push this anywhere. But I don't want it to pull. Did I misspell it? I thought you could do this where it just uses the one on your machine, at least from from, instead of having to pull it. Let's say dash dash pull, maybe that's a problem. Let's try this without dash dash pull, whoops. Okay, yeah, that works. Okay. So once we push this, we should just be able to kill it um, and uh, let it restart. And we'll see if things are still working. So if we delete the pod now, it should just recreate. A new pod with the new image since we have the pull policy to be always. Um, yeah, so this is not going to work right now. Connection to the server has been lost. That's true. Okay. I have an error. Probably something I fucked up. Okay. This is good. Um, oh, I bet I know what this is. Hmm, I see. Get SAML attributes, okay. Get SAML attributes. Oh, wait, this is, okay. Oh, I'm done. Okay. Yeah, it's supposed to go here. Because, um, it's one of the optional attributes. Okay, cool. So now we have to go <laughs> redo all of this. <laughs> This will probably be faster this time though, because it should cache most things. Wait, are you fucking serious? It runs pip install after? Oh, this Docker file sucks, man. Just copy the requirements, do pip install, and then copy the rest of the shit. Oh, are you serious, dude? This is so stupid. You you don't know how Docker caching works, like. I should have to rerun pip and salt if I don't. If I didn't change the requirements. Uh, uh. Put npm install in a Docker container faster. I mean, it's the same. My point is just this pip install literally takes forever. You know what I mean? Like I could, I literally could probably compile the Linux kernel in my laptop. In the amount of time it takes. Okay, let's check back on Mastodon while that's going. I think it works. I don't see any. Okay. Oh, okay. That was beautiful. Um, take your flex. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like compiling the Linux kernel was just a benchmark because a lot of people do it a lot. Like. Personally, I used to run a custom kernel, and so like every time I updated my computer, I would compile an external. Like not manually, of course, but 
my package, like my AUR manager would or whatever. So it's like, it, to me, it feels like it's common to know how long that takes. Although, yeah, I don't know. Like I was used to it taking about half an hour on my old laptop. But you know, if this takes 15 minutes and my new laptop is that much, this is better by that much or whatever. Anyway, um, so the one other thing I want to do is just try and like, I so this this does appear to be working, um, but I want to make sure that it will still die eventually if I kill off this connection basically and I'm I'm not sure how to do that I guess I was like I could just unplug my Ethernet port and then I was like wait a minute I'm streaming eh. is there a way in Linux to just kill a connection kill TCP connection Wait, what? Bash can make, t wait, slash dev slash TCP? That's a thing? What the hell? Is that real? I don't think there's a good way to test this. Um, I'm just gonna kill the current Macedon pods, uh, okay. and then uh, should do that. Oh wait, this is actually streaming, huh? Yeah, let me kill the current streaming pod. Okay, yeah, so it immediately starts a new connection there. So this is what, this used to be happening, well here, let me just revert back to production and you'll see what it used to be like. Oh, fuck. In Linux, everything is a file. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Still, that's like really weird. File like thing. Yeah, devices aren't like real files. You know, they're like fake files. This is, is this Nint? I don't know whether it, this, uh, I'm just going to refresh the page, actually, I think once it uh, finishes deploying this public, oh, hey, look, our build is done.
Wait, I fixed this. What? Wait, I literally fixed this. This is fixed? What? What? Dude, wait. <laughs> oh, I didn't push it. Oh my god. Alright, I I, I'm just boosted. It's fine. Okay. So, okay, yeah, wait. So you see this now? Like now? Every, uh... Let's see. Okay, so this one was 502. This one... Wait, what? Oh, no. This was uh, 71702. This was 71810. But that's kind of weird. Well, let's see. This should reset. Wait, what? Okay, hold Let me just hard refresh here. Okay, so there's this one here. Now, I think it'll basically pop up a new one here. All right, let's go back to the matrix. Uh, okay, so delete this. Oh, it's, oh, running, okay. Okay, cool, so does it still work? Probably need to reload the second chat. Uh, what chat? Uh, See dev matrix dot dev kubernetes dot ocfw dot edu. Oh wait. Oh wait, PHP, this isn't on the main matrix server, by the way. It's on the you have to log in to using a different um home uh yeah, home server address. Okay, anyway, this seems to still work. Let me sign out and sign back in. I don't want my encrypted messages. Okay, so like, look what I, oh, what? Oh, and Twitch. Oh, I see that you have s sent seven messages with the last one being, I have more than one Twitch window open. No, I don't know, something got dropped. I don't know why I didn't get that prompt the first time, but whatever. Yahoo! <sighs> okay, so it still seems to work. So the final test... Uh, so does deactivating my account delete it? Ah, uh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. 
PHP 2 minutes 7 seconds old. Confirm. All right, you know, fuck this. I'm just going to test it with my other OCF account. Um, Because uh, I don't want to deal with figuring this out. <laughs> uh, oh, we have to change. Oh, fuck. Okay. We have to change the eclope config to include the email. Uh, okay, so we should just be able to use email, I think. So we add a new mapper for this one as well. User property, SAML attribute name, like this. Friendly name, property, email, friendly name, email, name, email. <laughs> and this is uh, basic. Okay. Uh, let's see if this works doesn't work I'm gonna be sad because this is fucking hard to test what's the uh-oh the chat feels so empty without the channel points icon <laughs> oh no you really have been watching this uh Valorant streams huh scary stuff okay sign in with SSO Okay. Um uh, 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 It's fine. Ah, <sighs> okay. I just want to listen to Kanye right now. Sorry, that came out of nowhere. I was listening to Kanye earlier. A little bit. Okay, let's try this again. And hopefully my passage manager doesn't crash the entire session this time. No, dude, no. Um, what? Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute.
Okay, so I didn't get my email, which is sad. I hope I use the right, like, um, let's see, where is it? Email. Yeah, that should be right. Bruh. Right? Isn't that what I put? I feel like this should have worked. Okay, well, I'm a little bit concerned. Oh shit, screen blank. Oh no. I just realized that my screen has been blank this whole time. Well, anyway, okay, so I was able to log in with my other account, but it did not populate my email address, so that's uh, that's an L. Let's look at the logs. Maybe there's something there. Oh wait, I can just I can just see this. Are y'all, can y'all see this shit? Chat is very dead. Okay. Where's all the SAML shit? Oh, hello. Okay, good. Okay, so here is our SAML. It works. See, it, bruh. SSL at SAML to mapped attributes. Cool. Resisting mapping. Looking for his. Okay. Mapped SAML user to local part CCCCC. This totally should have worked. I'm a little depressed now. All right, I think it's, I think it's getting a little late. I think I, I think I need to take a break on this. Um, yeah, we'll probably come back to this uh, another time. It seems so simple. It seems like such a simple, such a simple patch, but here we are. Ah, uh, Discord after party. Yeah, maybe. Damn. Yeah, okay. My guess, I don't know what's happening here. Probably, I just I'd probably set up an actual dev environment and test using that instead of uh, this convoluted thing. I mean, I can see that the email is getting through. Um, so this is good. It's just something with the something with the account registration i guess it's just not working maybe uh yeah i don't know maybe we need to add additional configuration well okay here's why what happens if i do this does this work oh Wait. <laughs> okay. Wait. That's a. That's all. Okay. So this is a, this is the only problem. We just need to enable email, and then it will work. Wait. Okay. Let's see this then. Oh come on.
Okay, here we go. Um, okay. How do you enable this? Hmm. Hmm. Probably docs actually. Synapse enable email. Oh my god, the fucking master link. Oh god. Frustrating. Oh, dude. Their docs are just actually so bad. This is really disappointing. Low key. I, uh, it doesn't make sense to me that I don't have to do anything to enable this, but at the same time, uh, it doesn't seem to have any more information about how to do this, so... Wait, what's the error message here? Adding an email to your account is disabled on the server. Let's just look that up and see what we have to do to change that.
All right, where's this set? What? Okay. Okay, so we need notif from, we need public base URL. All right. Okay. No, let's just do that. That's fine. And what's the other thing we need? Um... Public base URL. Oh, that is that's already set. Okay. Okay, well, let's try this, I guess. Wait, why are there four restarts? Does it crash the whole thing every time I do this? Like, what the fuck? All right, let's try this now. The email address is already in use. What? Is Twitter a worthwhile service to be on or is it just super dicking? Uh, yes. Uh, there's a lot of people on Twitter that say valuable things and interesting things. Uh, and so, like, yeah, I mean, I think it's valuable. Dude. Good. Okay. Um, hmm.
Ah, oh, excuse me. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. It's like Macedon, but if it actually had more notable people on it. Yeah, Facebook is kind of bad anymore, at least reasonably. I was trying to hit my mute button, but it didn't work, so yeah, oh well. Keybind only works when the OBS window has focus. Kind of defeats the purpose, but okay. Oh no, it's just an X window has to have focus because it's using X Wayland. Um, okay, well anyway. Um I'm not sure how to test this now, to be honest, because uh Oh shit. Yeah, last that I last time it was the same thing. What? Um <laughs> Dude, it's just a sneeze. Oh, I got admin. Wow. Okay. Um. Yeah. So the this shit all seemed to work. Although we should probably send this from someone, except for some something other than root at. Um. But in any case. Uh, that works now. Um. So now I'm gonna. Just drop the database. Actually, I'm just going to delete the PVC and everything and then recreate it um, from scratch. Fuck it. You don't, you guys don't have to stick around, by the way. I've been doing this for like over four hours now. So, yeah. Loyal fan base. Low. Okay. Presumably this will terminate once the pod dies, which is taking a while. Hmm? Hmm. Oh, there we go, okay. And the PVC is gone too. Okay, cool. Oh my god.
So the generate seems to have worked. Now we just have to see if the matrix deployment pod works. Whoops. Okay, that seems good. Um, yeah, let's try this again. Sign in with SSO. Good. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. Okay. Still didn't add my email address, as far as I can tell. Let's see if it sent me an email. Didn't send me an email. Hmm. Well, that's disappointing. Okay. Well, I'm not sure what to do. I don't know why that, that uh, wouldn't have worked. I guess I need to look a little bit more into what bind emails does in the register user call or whatever. But anyway, we're really rabbit holed right now. So um, my primary objective was accomplished, which is uh, the key cloak off and whatnot. Oh, okay. All right. All right I think I'm going to end the stream here, finally. Thank you for uh, sticking with it. Sticking through it with me through... Sticking with me through the multiple crashes and... Uh, all that good stuff. Um, and this is good and productive. So yeah, thank you. Don't forget to do your taxes. All right. Good night.